Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video checking out the latest Android uh, M preview for the Nexus 6, which is now we know is Android uh, Marshmallow, which uh, I was thinking it'd be Marzipan to be honest, or something like that, but uh, it is Marshmallow now. Uh, and I wanted to see basically the uh, good points about it, as well as some of the areas which I think still could be improved when it comes to uh, Android. And uh, the first thing you do notice when you flash it on, obviously, are these new wallpapers here, which uh, I've got one of them on the blue one. I think this one is probably my favourite out of them. Uh, you can see we do have a few more here, which are quite nice though. Uh, and I think that uh, in general it's been quite a long time since uh, Google put on some pretty cool wallpapers so they are quite a welcome uh, addition here. Uh, you also see uh, some nice UI elements when for example you're charging the device you see the uh, Android M kind of uh, symbol come up where you want to choose like whether you're charging it or not. Uh, we can see here the actual version information in the settings, so we are on version 6.0 uh, and when you go into that obviously you do get this uh, kind of weirdness and that thing as well, which is interesting. Uh, we can go back though and see if we can see any settings here. Uh, so I have been looking around in things like the display uh, as well as these other settings, you can see you get your memory setting now. Uh, but that was brought on by the previous one, I think. Uh, if I look in the location, uh, users, you can see there isn't too much in the way of differences, I think, when it comes to these settings, uh, really. So don't get uh, too excited about new settings here. Uh, battery as well, battery saver, so you can put that on. Uh, battery optimization, so that seems to optimize your battery, which is quite good. And Wi Fi, don't think there's anything different in there. So to me it seems like uh, quite an incremental update again here. Uh, if we go to download something here you can see uh, the uh, new animations when you are downloading. Uh, it does look quite nice and clean uh, when you are downloading something. But I have noticed that they haven't uh, kind of dealt with the core issue of the notification spam which comes up at the top here which is quite annoying uh, you do have to kind of get rid of it one by well you can use this thing but uh, you'd like it not to come in the first place uh, we have a do not disturb function here uh, which is looks like it's been updated a bit you can put total silence on uh, priority only you can go into the more settings as well and have uh, rules, which is quite interesting. Uh, so that is uh, good if you want to manage when the phone uh, makes noises or not. If I look at the uh, lock screen here, you can see we do have this uh, kind of uh, voice button here from the lock screen. It used to be a dialer, as far as I'm aware. You still have your camera there, and uh, we go here. You can see the interface. Of the camera looks quite similar. You do have this slight, nice, big circle now, and uh, I think the functions are roughly equivalent to what they were before. So. Uh, if we can have a look here at uh, some of the benchmark scores, uh, I have done a Antutu and uh, the last video I did on I think Android 5.1.1 is getting about 45,000 so you can see here we are getting 51,399 which is quite a nice score if you ask me, quite a big increase from Lollipop. 
uh, which is quite nice. However, I do have some reservations in regards to the other things really in regards to Android. To me, it seems that there's not really a huge step up when it comes to like Lollipop going to uh, Marmal Marmalade here. Uh, yes, it's not obviously the... Did I just say Marmalade? I meant <laughs> Marshmallow. <laughs> I'm really getting confused now. Marshmallow, I don't think, is a big step up uh, from uh, Lollipop. I think it's quite similar, actually, uh, to Lollipop. Yes, it's not the final version at the moment. There could be some more changes down the pipeline. But we're still missing like core things that I really do enjoy from like Samsung devices, uh, such as, for example, uh, if we have a look here, uh, we can go to something like the multitasking ability you know why can't Google just kind of uh, get that and implement it it seems that you have to wait for ages for things to come on to stock Android that have been on like Twitch with for quite a while it wasn't uh, they have put on like for example this brightness thing but I do remember a long time it wasn't actually there and uh, it seemed to only come on after Samsung put it there so that is pretty uh, annoying as well as the YouTube as well you can't do that in the background still so I would have liked to have seen those things I think but other than that you know it does feel very fast here uh, and obviously you've just seen the the uh, actual kind of uh, score of the Antutu that seems to be very uh, nice uh, there so you can see the multitasking here uh, very buttery and smooth. Uh, I might do a uh, quick little test against another device to check out the performance and how it compares here uh, if anyone's interested but yeah so we just want to do a quick little video checking out uh, Android Marshmallow for the uh, Nexus 6. Hope you did enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!